Hey everyone! Thanks for joining me again for Devos with Carly. Grab your Bibles. We're going to go through a Devo from the book called How Great is Our God? So guess what? You're on the move. Okay, I know. You're probably thinking, um, Carly, I'm not on the move. I'm sitting here watching YouTube. But you actually are still moving, even if you think you're sitting still, because you're actually riding on a planet that's spinning at about a thousand miles per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound. And that's not all. Earth is also traveling around the sun at about 67,000 miles per hour. At the same time, the Earth, Sun, and our entire solar system are circling around the center of the Milky Way galaxy at roughly 450,000 miles per hour. You think we'd get pretty dizzy, right? So as you can see, we really are on the move, even if we're sitting still. But more than just spinning around in circles, God wants your faith to be on the move too. So turn in your Bibles with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19. In Matthew 28, 19, it says this, Go and make followers of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You see, Jesus is explaining the on-the-move mission that we've been given. And as we talked about just yesterday in our Sunday vlog, we learned about a guy named Philip. And Philip demonstrates this on-the-go mission really well. I mean, Philip and that Ethiopian man that he was talking to, they were literally on the move. They were traveling. Philip was just obeying the Holy Spirit and going where he was guiding. And saying what he was told to say. You see, we can live with that same obedience that Philip had by following the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You see, Matthew 28, 19 says, go. We can't do it by sitting still. We can't fulfill that mission by just staying in one place. Sure, the world is pretty big and there are a lot of people in it. But God made you, and He placed you in just the right spot to be a part of His big story. And so we've been talking all about determination all month long. And we've seen in the book of Acts all these amazing apostles and the way that they were on the move and they were fulfilling the mission that Jesus gave, him, gave them. And we can do that too. We can learn from the examples of Peter and John and Stephen and Philip, and we can be on the move too, doing just what it says to do in Matthew 28, verse 19, where it says, Go and make followers of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So how can you be on the move to spread the good news about Jesus right now? Why don't we pray together? Jesus, we want to go and tell the world about how awesome you are. But it can be a little scary sometimes, and it can be a bit overwhelming. Give us the courage to put our faith on the move for you so that we can be like the apostles in Acts, and we can tell people about you. We can have determination to push through and keep going no matter what comes our way, because that's the mission you gave us and we want to help. We want to help to build your kingdom and be part of your story. In Jesus' name, everyone said together, amen. All right, we're going to put up the 30-second timer, and in those 30 seconds, I want you to ask God what you can do to be on the move with your faith. Ask him who is out there in your life that needs to know about Jesus.